Step 9. The Preset Table In the Logical tab, on each of the areas, you will notice in the right-hand pane there is a Preset Editor tab. Presets are area-specific, so let's use the Presentation area to look at the most common fields. Click on the Preset tab. By default, there are eight presets listed for each area, but you can add more as needed by clicking the New Preset button. The factory default settings for presets will be loaded. For example, preset 1 will always be 100% and preset 4 will always be 0%. We ask that you leave those presets at those levels and only edit other presets when you are creating your scenes for your projects. Let's look at preset 2 for this example. Channel 1 in area 5 is the front in the presentation area. I can change the level for that channel a number of ways, either by sliding the slider up and down or I can type the level that I want into this field here. Alternatively, I can use the front and back arrows on my keyboard to nudge up and down. OK, let's look at the level options. We can see it is on independent, and that means that I can move each of these channels by themselves. The other options we have are relative and tied. Relative means that I move one channel and the others will move as well and keep the same ratio of distance as the channels slide up or down. Tide means if we move one channel, the other channels in the area will snap to that level and they will all move together. Clicking the percent field will change the display to the level. Clicking view list will show you all of the preset levels in one table and you can type your levels in using the keyboard. In the action drop down we have three options, mute, send levels and send presets. Mute means that you can slide the levels up and down without the channels going up and down in real life. This is useful, say on a live site, like a bank when you can't have the lights going up and down during business hours. Send levels will send channel level messages. So in this case it would look up area 5, then send the message channel 1 go to 64%, then area 5, channel 2 go to 64%, then area 5, channel 3, go to 64%. Send presets will send one message, which will be area 5, go to preset 2. Over here we can rename the preset by clicking on the cell and naming it something logical. I can also use the copy function to copy and then paste into another preset. This function is useful in the case that you're walking around with the homeowner, lighting designer or system designer and they want to compare one preset with another variation. Copy the original, then paste into a new preset and then you can edit the second and compare the two presets. The flash check box will flash the channel in your project. The exclude check box will exclude that channel from the preset. Note this will literally exclude the channel, so if the lights were on they will stay on, if the lights were off they will stay off. If you have a global preset which will be in each area, then you can select all of the areas that the preset will exist in, and then select a preset that isn't in use. You can tell if it's in use because it will be blocked out in yellow. So find a preset that isn't in use and rename it. Today I will make a cleaning preset. I have my levels set to tide so all of the channels in all of the highlighted areas will move when I move one channel. I will slide that up to 99% so the cleaner can do a good job of cleaning when that preset is called in that area. We can see now that in each of the areas that were highlighted, preset 7 is now cleaning and the level is at 99%. If you want to edit a level in an area to something else, then you can easily just slide the channel on an as needed basis.